colleague in the previous and then the recent postdoc and then I have the more than 100 or 200 students, something. Okay, so we are cooperating with uh, many, many members in the world. And then the, this talk is the summary of the, my work and also the proposal of the new direction of the research. Okay, and uh, that is starting in uh, several uh, 20 years ago, I started this one. Okay. So the next. Okay, moment. Uh, I need back. Back. Yes. Okay, this is actually the summary of my talk and then their content. Okay, everyone say sustainable society. But actually, it's quite difficult, particularly advanced, uh, well, um, material, mnemonic material, because we know our Earth, okay, it's a water planet. So it's a water cycle. It's a keeping of the condition and the constant. Particularly, the biosystem was created in that way. So agriculture, forestry, fishery, that is a water cycle completely. But unfortunately, or fortunately, or advanced material, we are doing not biosystem, but uh, industry or technology, high tech. High tech, always we needed fossil fuel or high cost resources. They are, we are advanced civilization, but the new material. And it's cost environmentally and economically. And nowadays, we are consuming in the oil and the coal that's are cheaper than the water. But consider the chemical potential of the oil and the coal or any other fossil fuel. It should be more, ex more expensive. In addition, these resources, okay, has never, never cyclable. Water is cyclable, but uh, fossil fuel is not cyclable. So in this regard, we must consider of the waste, okay? Waste of the material and the waste of the heat, particularly including in entropy. Entropy is a very serious problem. So actually, this is a very difficult discussion, including complete sustainability, including entropy. Very few people are talking about, but I would like to say it's not impossible, I hope, because we are still rich in water itself, including ocean and the air, okay? And we have the huge human on the earth. We are not only hand, and food and mouse, we have the brain. So high intelligence technology, we need it, okay? So I propose some possibility of the intelligence, high intelligence technology in this presentation, okay. Why I said in the, well, high technology is difficult. That is the reason why. Material can be divided, natural, biological product material, and artificial material, and organic material, and inorganic material. Organic material, particularly the polymer, biopolymer, plants, trees, or, well, animals, etc. that is a food. That is a completely biosystem sustainability. But most of the plastics we are artificially producing. And also inorganic material, ceramics, except for the biomineral and semiconductor, and material, metals and alloy. They have never been produced biologically. So we must do there are some artificially or engineering industry. That cost, we have the productivity, productivity, and also 
cost. Okay, so that is a, these bio products and non bio products. Non bio product has how we can the cycle and then in our cycle. That is a problem. Okay. Here, for example, in our metallurgy and more, uh, minerals, that is almost not including bioproduction. Organic is a really uh, friendly, but still limited. Inorganic material is uh, just say biomineral. Amorphous, silica, okay, iron oxide, sulfide, carbonate, our bone and teeth, and then some sulfate. That's almost all of the bioproduct. So, except that one is almost completely artificially product. Okay, so that uh, before industrial revolution, we are only using bioproduct. But nowadays, we are more using advanced material, artificial product. Okay, so that is the reason why this material is interesting, but I don't talk about in detail, it takes one hour, so. Okay, many people considering about of their environmental problem. And then Earth here, and we are getting solar energy, sunshine, and also temperature. And then people consider and uh, reduce the use and recycle. The pro problem is a recycle, Material recycling is possible, always possible, but environmentally it's no good because it's more consuming energy. So my proposal, our proposal is like this one, production itself, mining to producing of the material and then the fabrication to the products, waste, use and waste. Every material can be recyclable. Okay, chemical mass action law, mass conservation law existing. So that even the CO2 can be recycled, is it possible? But it's environmentally, it's, this CO2 recycle is more cost, more environmentally cost. So this is not the solution of the environmental problem. Not only CO2. Exhaust Q, okay, entropy has never, never recycled. Entropy conservation law doesn't exist, some dynamics. So we must consider how our production itself will be low energy way instead of the recycle. That is the final answer, okay? This is our system. Our system as the human society cycle and then biosphere ecological cycle and atmospheric water cycle and hydro hydrosphere and atmosphere water cycle that is a total water no earth system we are getting solar radiation for the temperature we get at room temperature about 300 kelvin and then Earth itself, we are emitted in the cosmos to 250 Kelvin. So 40 Kelvin difference is the driving force of the cycle of all of the Earth's material. And then 98% of their energy and entropy was cycled by water cycle. Other elements is a two or 2%. So the water cycle is most important. Then, billions of years water cycle. Life was created, organic product was formed again. And organic origin was fossilized, then fossil fuel was produced. In. And recent 200 years, we are using, okay, present, including ourselves, we are using this fossil fuel as, so this cycle was disturbed every year 1% in artificial, humans activity 1%, 1.5% of the total cycle. 
So the reason why environmental sustainability is broken now. That is our human's problem. Okay. So how we can solve that one? Okay, well, here the one of the famous person, Leonardo da Vinci, talked about in sixth century. Water is the driver of the nature. But that case, he said, is the agriculture and then something, something, hydro cycle. But nowadays, more we have the same of the earth's sustainability, but we are in this after industrial revolution, 18th century, we are more, more on water, okay, cycled material production. So back to their past, we must consider the, that one. This is one of the reason why we proposed in the MRS bulletin 2000 September issue, first time soft processing for advanced inorganic material. And why I put it in the name soft processing? It came from soft chemistry. 20 years ago, before, French people produce, uh, well, make world of the soft chemistry. Soft chemistry, the environmentally friendly synthesis of the chemical product, mostly the particle or some powder. But powder and particle must be consolidated to give shape and size, okay? We required not only powder, we have the shape and size, consolidated material, and brittle material like ceramics and semiconductor. It's very difficult to shape in homing. So we make single crystal or synthetic material always high energy and high temperature. That is a problem. So I also proposed in about 20 or 25 years ago, soft processing, environmental fabrication of material, not only the synthesis, give shape, give size, give location, that is a more environmentally cost, okay? Recently, green chemistry to green processing the cans. This similar green chemistry is a non-hazardous synthesis. And now green processing is a non-hazardous, including environmentally cost. So the, that is a similar idea. Green processing is a similar of the soft processing. But uh, we propose of the green, not green, but uh, soft, it's more environmentally oriented. So the soft processing I propose in uh, 2000 September issue, MRS bulletin, with Jack Ribach. Jack Ribach is a chemist in the French chemist, and then the such sort of chemistry proposal. Okay, so we, we needed shaped material, shaped and sized material. How we can make this one? From the resources. Okay, in the, Ceramics, powder processing is like this one. Make powder by calcination, heating, and then consolidated green body and sintering again. And even the solution, make powder. So chemistry is a make powder and particle. But after that, also heating needed. And so gel, gel processing as make shape, but also firing needed. Physics people, most of the physics people using of the more energetical, more sophisticated way. That is a single step, but the vapor, atom, and ion or radical, then deposited shaped material. It's beautiful way of the synthesis and shape forming, but it's more cost, more energy consuming. So, Biosystem itself was starting from a solution they make of the shaped material at an environmentally friendly way. Interface reaction, or even leave it higher temperature, hydrothermal, electrochemically, 
or surface assembly templating. So it's bio-inspired way. So we learn from bio to exceed bioproduct. That is why we propose soft processing, okay? Solution processing in that way. So I show the some example in that way. Because this is the not so many people using. Biology is using that one, but the bioproduct is limited, just I told before. So my laboratory in a, well in a soft processing. At the beginning, we also make powder and the particle at the big past in solution processing. And then composition control in the polymer and then the complex using. And once we have succeeded, make film without firing and without powder. Direct solution reaction and then film formation. It's 89. Then we shift it to the film. And then once we have made film, if this reaction point or the removed or the substrate is moving, we can make all the patterning directly without powder. So in solution directory patterning that we proposed in 2000, and then integration in a couple of years later, and also that we have the not only the oxide or ceramics material, but the non, uh, well, uh, carbon or sulfide, etc. in a by solution processing, okay? So we are doing in this way the history. So I talk about some example here. Okay, I told the energy, gaseous pieces, ion and atom or the radicals is very high in vacuum. Okay, in solution, aqueous solution, this species was hydrated or complex or ligandic. That case is energy is much, much lower than free atom, free ion. Then polymerized or complex formation to make cluster. Then cluster make nucleus and sometimes the sol gel colloid and then colloidal gel, this is sol gel, or cluster to make of the single crystal, nanoparticle, nanocrystal. So energy in solution lowering from the species to the crystal. This difference is much less than gas or atom. So the reason why solution processing is environmentally friendly. Some people say the sol gel. Sol gel people is confusing. This is the picture in the sol gel. Solution to make of the sol. Okay, sol is uh, something and consolidated, but sol formation has sol gel formation is only silica, germanium, titanium, zirconium and hyphenium, almost that's all. Other species, it's a not make sol gel. Sol to gel, sol gel is a one of the way, straight line here, and the physical gel form, and after calcination, this is a one of our force, so the sol divide, then the sol gel product is forming. Particularly the silica material, sol gel is a beautiful reward. But as a gel formation is possible, it's a macro molecule gel or polymer gel, complex gel. This is not sol, okay? This is a much smaller and then molecular size. And then this macro molecule or chemical gel is a forming chemical gel network. So sol gel people confusing in the sol form of the chemical gel. No, this is a isolated chemical gel direction and sol gel direction is separated. This cross line is not existing, sorry. So we have proposed sol gel, no, complex gel formation in our strontium titanate, we have get gel and then amorphous and crystallization. This is a single step. 
directly strontium titanate is formed because it's very homogeneously molecular size homogeneous. Solid gel casing or solid state reaction always intermediate phases because of the diffusion of the strontium ion to titania and strontium titanate. So it's not in homogeneous mixture. Even the homogeneous mixture, but particle crystal, it's a micron size. Micron size formation is the intermediate diffusion needed. But nano size, molecular size homogeneity will directly crystallize na uh, nano size crystal or micro size crystal. Okay, so this is a polymer complex is a more homogeneous particle and powder and easy to form. Okay, so, so we're back to back, back, back. Okay, so we have, now this is the third gel, so I'll go to next to, I skipped this picture, okay, so, that is the reason why we do the species in solution, okay? Complex species and then substrate as reactant. And then locally activated here, only reacted this complex molecule and then the substrate and reactant in locally activated. This case we can make of the complex oxide, double oxide or triple oxide in that way in their pattern or gel, okay? Many people recently doing of their patterning or 3D, 2D printing, but that is a different. This is a particle processing, powder processing, not a multi-step because they are synthesis of particle and the powder fast and then dispersion to make ink. It's not solution and precursor even, then printed to this 3D and drying the firing always needed. That is a cost again. So we do directly without firing, calcining, direct formation of the film pattern, okay? Okay, this is a barium titanate film in 100 room temperature, it's crystallized, not crystallized. It formed, but only one layer. And after 100 degrees, we can crystallize pattern of barium titanate on some rate of titanate. And 200, of course, it's a more. So it's not solid state reaction. This is electrochemical solution reaction. And after that, several people try to the trace hours and then the, even the below 100 degree solution electrochemistry can producing barium titanate in solution. So it's not necessarily the heating of the solid state reaction and powder and printing firing. Okay, so we do try to the polymer, polymer substrate metal Rating, and then barium titanate formation. This is actually, it's difficult to move the picture. Okay, this actually is 150 degree or 100 degree. Then it's a laminated ceramics, metal, plastic. And then this uh, laminate is a bendable because polymer part is absorption of the stress energy, okay. So even we can do the coating of their 3D coating. This case is the surface coating. Most of the people in the surface coating. So for example, uh, metal and alloy and oxide coating. Internal coating, internal oxidation, we do rooted growth of the oxide, then the come over to the interface. In this case, this interface is not flat, diffuse. So their biological and mechanical and thermal application is good.
but electronic diffusion, electronic application and optics, this diffuse interface is not good. But other applications, okay, we can integrate it. And also that the growing integration. Many people do integrated film top by top, but our case is that bottom to top. So the reason why we are named new name, new definition, growing integration, GIL, growing integration layer, okay? So that is our new concept. Then 3D patterning is possible. Also patterning of the ceramics, many people do the lithography. It's a conventional lithography, it's a film formation, masking, etching, make window, and then another film. Deposited. So integration in the lithography. Other way is the multi step printing and build up film, particle formation, dispersion, and then printing to the direct printing of the 2D, 3D printing, and then fire it. Always fear heat and fire needing. Printing way is a many screen, jet printing, many ways of the printing, but this is not direct pattern firing, okay? So we do direct patterning in solution. Okay, that is the most conventional to the direct printing way. In this case, heating needed. Even substrate must be heated several hundred. But if we have using substrate as a reactant and ink was a component of the jetty, if reactive in the chemical driving force can form a B and then consolidate it, we are direct patterning at room temperature. If A and B is also ink, then the jetty in the substrate, we can get A, B, compound patterning in room temperature on something sometimes on paper okay so do this is a paper printed calcium tungsten calcium solution and tungsten solution was printed on paper it's not nano size it's a micron or millimeter size but in the constitution of this particle was micro and then, and each non crystallic is a nano size, at, but well crystallized. Why it's porous? It dense film is very difficult because precipitation rate is much faster than their growth rate at room temperature. So the reason why many people heated substrate to growing rate adjusted to the precipitation rate. In this case, dense film is possible. So this calcium tank state is a white and then the no color so that you cannot see, but you will run, we can see over the beautiful luminescent. It means no blue shift, it's a crystallized, okay, nano size crystallized or the solution tank state was crystallized on paper at room temperature. We are published in uh, more than 10 years ago. Nowadays, we are do not only the oxide and we do of the some carbon. In this case, we are using not aqueous solvent. Sometimes you know, we are using acetonitrile. In this case, we do the plasma, graphite plasma in the substrate, submerged liquid plasma. Then here, microplasma discharge and then we can make polymerization of the acetonitrile or nitrogen dope or the graphene or graphene oxide dispersion. So dispersion ink, graphene ink can be formed in room temperature, ambient pressure. Okay. So this case, either here we have their discharge, then graphene film was destroyed and then acetonitrile radical was captured in the net. 
in this case of this nitrogen, there was not only age, but even that the network nitrogen doping is uh, possible. So we do in that way the many nano hybrid, okay, in the solution and discharge plasma and graphene. So this is the one paper published in that one in the journal Chemistry BA. It was only two weeks accepted and one week published and then after one week and it's a hot paper. So we have submerged liquid plasma, low energy production of nitrogen doped graphene and electrochemistry. Okay. So and also another way, we have the another way electrochemical exfoliation of the graphite and the graphene using all the sum of the alkaline or H2O2. Then we have dispersion of the functional graphene, uh, graphene, and then nanographene. Then we have the some nitrogen doping by changing of the solution and also dispersed graphene solution. We are added in another gold ion solution added. Then doping of the gold nanoparticle added hybrided one. So this case in a solution was never centrifugal, no filtration firing. We have centrifugal and dispersion again in another solution and another solution. We have the multi-step but almost continuous production in functional nanographene, okay? Okay, so in the conclusion, well, solution process is the precursor is a low energy. So that's a soft way to compare the gas plasma. Direct fabrication, nanostructure to this 3D, possible and preferable than sintering of the powder. Of course, it's not easy and not everything. We have tried so many things and succeeded several and failed many. But also we can do the 3D material in nanoparticles. And then inkjet reaction by calcium tank state I explained also some sulfur. Okay, so the semiconductor is compound semiconductor is possible by printing at room temperature. Now are they proboscite solar cell is a similar way. We have fabrication in nano carbon by soft wave in solution. Okay, and then graded structure and growing 3D is possible. So, and another summary, we say that sustainability is most important. So we must learn from mother nature, water cycle, okay? And then we use all the nanocarbon or even some way, hybridization in there are many way of the continuous production of the nanocarbon or even the recently the molybdenum sulfide and makes sense. Another 2D is possible to be in solution way. So this is almost my conclusion. I said solution processing, okay, it's difficult, but we can do, we must run from solar, soil and water cycle and so processing is a possible, and then only the probably, only the way, including eliminated entropy. The earth sustained, it means the human life sustained, okay? Doesn't matter racial and then color or religion and politics, doesn't matter. We are humans, homo sapiens must survive, okay? So processing is only the way. We can try to do. It's uh, against of the most of the people. Most of the people is still 
using high tech, but I and also our group, we propose and solution way eliminated high energy production, high intelligence production. It's not so easy, electrochemistry and some local activation, okay? We activated optically, photo, phono, photo, laser, but very, very small local, okay? This case combination of the species, substrate and activation combination is a mortal, so many. So let's try and then consider well and then succeeded, that is good, all right? So nothing and then nobody is perfect. We are not God, human, so that uh, we are try and consider this is our scientist and then engineering way. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.